Hello friends, welcome back to ESL Travel. This is a comprehension test based on the lesson that year departed one. The first question: Why did Henry wonder if the Jordans would come at all? And here are the options: A. Because he did not invite them. B. Because Elizabeth had said that she would not set foot in their house again. C. Because they did not like him. Choose your answer. Okay, the answer is B. Because Elizabeth had said that she would not set foot in their house again. Let's look at the next question. Number two. Victoria is a precocious girl. What does precocious mean? Options A. Valuable. B. Funny. C. Intelligent. And the answer is C. Intelligent. Let's look at the next question now. Three. Amelia thinks the Jordans will not know that the bureau was Abel's because the options. A. The Jordans haven't come after Abel bought it. B. The Jordans haven't come after Henry bought it. C. The Jordans are unintelligent. What is your answer? The answer is A. The Jordans haven't come after Abel bought it. Shall we look at the next question? Question four. Henry says. I suppose it's in the family. What is he referring to here? A. He is referring to the pompous nature of the Jordans. B. He is referring to the kindness of the Jordans. C. He is referring to the tough or hard nature of Mrs. Elizabeth. What do you say? The answer is C. He is referring to the tough or hard nature of Mrs. Elizabeth. The next question, number five. What is the other way of saying this? You had better wear these slippers. Options: A. You should wear these slippers. B. You had worn these slippers. C. You must wear these slippers. The answer is A. You should wear these slippers. This is a way of giving a piece of advice. The next one, number six. It would never do for them to find you in colors. Who said this to whom? A. Henry said this to Amelia. B. Amelia said this to Henry. C. Amelia said this to Victoria. The answer is C. Amelia said this to Victoria. The next question, number seven. Victoria said, "Mother, I don't think Grandpa went to pay his insurance this morning. Where did the old man go?" The options: A. He went with Mr. Tattersall past Saint Philip's Church. B. He went out to meet Mrs. John Sharrocks. C. He went out to buy a pair of slippers. What is your answer? The answer is A. He went with Mr. Tattersall past Saint Philip's Church. Number eight. Mrs. Jordan said, "I had to put up with him for five years." What does "put up with" mean here? A. Entertain. B. Tolerate. C. Ignore. What do you think? The answer is B. Tolerate. Let's look at the next question now. Number nine. Your father sent them a telegram as soon as we found he was dead. A noise is heard. What was the noise they heard? A. The noise was Elizabeth and Ben coming into the house. B. The noise was Amelia trying to shift the bureau downstairs. C. 
The noise was Henry coming into the house. What is your answer? The answer is C. The noise was Henry coming into the house. Number 10. How is Henry related to Ben? A. Henry is the co-son-in-law of Ben. B. Henry is the son-in-law of Ben. C. Henry is the brother of Ben. The answer is A. Henry is the co-son-in-law of Ben. Let's look at the next question now. Number 11. Who wrote the play The Dear Departed? A. William Stainless Horton B. William Stanley Horton C. John Stanley Horton The answer is B. William Stanley Horton Shall we look at the next one? Number 12 my word, it's a good thing he did. Who said these words? A. Amelia B. Elizabeth C. Ben The answer is C. Ben Now let's move to the next question. That is number 13. Mrs. Slater said, be quiet, it's ours now. What does it refer to here? A. Clock B. Bureau C. Gold watch What is the answer? The answer is A. Clock Let's look at the next question. That is number 14. Are you planning to pinch it? What does pinch mean here? A. Decorate B. Steal C. Clean The answer is B. Steal Number 15 How are Ben and Abel Merriweather related to each other? A. Ben is the son-in-law of Abel or Abel is the father-in-law of Ben. B. Ben is the father-in-law of Abel Merriweather. C. Ben is the son of Abel or Abel is the father of Ben. Guess the answer. The answer is A. Ben is the son-in-law of Abel or Abel is the father-in-law of Ben. Okay, that's about it in this video. I hope you have enjoyed answering those questions. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.